Today we're going to talk about how to set up one of these bad boys, which is the Ledger Nano S Plus. It's a great place to store your crypto and it keeps them offline. And because of this, it's much harder to steal and hack your crypto. Be aware, only buy Ledger from Ledger itself. Don't buy it on Amazon because some of the Ledger devices on Amazon have been opened, reconfigured, and then resealed. So when you plug it into your computer, transfer your crypto across, they have keys to your crypto and all your crypto disappears. But as I said, only buy from Ledger itself. Link is in the description below and let's get to it. So we have the Ledger device, Ledgercom start, we have a recovery sheet here as well. We have sticker, get started booklet. And here we have USB cable and a little hook. Okay, let's get started. So we go to ledger.com forward slash start and enter. We're going to download Ledger Live and start now. Download Windows on my desktop. Once it's downloaded and install it. finish and to run Ledger Live we'll do that now and this is how we get started click here select your Nano mine's the Nano S Plus so we're gonna click on set up a new Nano S Plus because we haven't had this one before Access your crypto. Your crypto assets are stored on the blockchain. You need to private access key to access and manage them. So basically what that means is that your crypto actually isn't stored on this device. The keys to access them are the crypto is on the blockchain. So if this device dies, you can just get another device, put your private keys in and you'll access your crypto again. Your private keys stored within your Nano, you must be the only one to, to own it to be in control of your money. The Nano works as a cold storage wallet. This means that it never exposes your private key online, even when using the app. Ledger Live allows you to buy, sell, manage, exchange, and earn crypto while remaining protected. You will validate every crypto transaction with your Nano. Okay, let's set it up. Plan 30 minutes. Okay, grab a pen to write with, all right? Stay alone and choose a safe and quiet environment. Done. It's turned on. On the Nano itself, it's telling me to press the start button to go to the website to download, which we've already done, and then press next, which we're already doing that now. Okay, so we can leave that sitting there for now. Let's go next step. I understand that I must choose my pin code myself and keep it private. Yep, set up pin code. You can't actually see it here, but on the Nano, if you hit two buttons at once, it selects. If you hit left and right, arrow goes forward and back on the menu. It's just asked me to set up a new Nano, so I'm doing that. Both buttons are pressed. Choose the pin with four to eight digits. Press that twice. So I'm putting the digits in now. Okay, I've entered the pin. Confirm, then you've got to confirm it again. It says here now, your recovery phrase is the 24 words that back up your private keys. Your Nano generates a unique recovery phrase. Ledger does not keep a copy of it. If you lose this 24 word phrase, you will lose access to all your crypto. So this is important. I'd put it in a fireproof safe, make sure it's well protected, and, uh, and do not tell anyone, even your best friend, what it is. Select I understand, click on the recovery phrase. Grab a recovery sheet included with your Nano and please reach out to Ledger Support if your recovery sheet did not become blank. And you write down 24 words. So the recovery sheet is here. So I'm actually going to press both buttons to do that. So the device will generate 24 words. They are your recovery phrase. Next button is your only backup to restore your accounts if needed. Okay. Write it down in the recovery sheet in the correct order. Okay. Press both buttons to continue. I'm writing down word number one. 
Okay, you press left on your device to verify your 24 words. Press both buttons to continue. Confirm your recovery phrase. So you gotta go through and confirm each single one. It takes a bit on the device, but basically you gotta press all the buttons left and right and then double button to confirm it. Once you've done that, it says it's set. Keep it in a secure place, and away we go. If lost or stolen, forgotten, all your assets will be immediately lost. Okay, never share it with anyone. Ledger will never ask you for it. Press both buttons to continue. It says your device is ready, now we go to next step. It says here, hide your recovery phrase, uh, enter these words in a hardware wallet only, not on computers or smartphones. Never share your 24 words with anyone, not even with Ledger. Learn how to hide it, got that already. As I said, fireproof safe would be clever. And where should I keep my recovery phrase? Let's get started. Okay, let's take a quiz. Now game on, answer three simple questions to avoid common misconceptions about your hardware wallet. Let's take the quiz. As a Ledger user, my crypto is stored on my Nano or on the blockchain? Well, it's on the blockchain. Next question. If my recovery phrase is no longer secure or private, no problem, Ledger can send me a copy. My crypto is no longer safe and I need to transfer them to a secure place. It's that one. Next question. When I connect my Nano to the Ledger app, my private key is still offline. And finish quiz. Okay, next step. We'll verify whether your Nano is genuine. This should be quick and easy now. If this check isn't on your menu system when you're setting it up, it means your Nano is not genuine and somebody is tampered with it because they would take this out of the menu. Now on the device, it's asked me to press allow the man allow manager to use this device, so I pressed the button. It says your Ledger Nano S Plus is genuine and ready to use with Ledger Live. Ledger Live is the software that runs it. Hit continue. On the Ledger device, it's telling me I have to install the app. So I'm going to do that now. Update the firmware first, just click on that. Then make sure you've written down your recovery phrase here because before you update the firmware, you may lose it. You probably won't, but you might. It says, say I have my recovery phrase. Go continue. Now I'd, I'd update all your firmware before you start putting your coins on here. There we go. And you can now install apps on your device, so let's install all the apps. Now it wants you to allow Ledger to, in, to connect with your device. Press the two buttons to do that on your device. Okay, now you can install the coins you have. For instance, I have a few of these, so I'm going to install uh, Bitcoin. I'm going to install Ethereum. I'm going to install BNB, XRP, Cardano, Dogecoin, Solana, Polygon. I mean, you can go through your whole list and install the ones that are relevant to you. You can always come back to this software and install them later on if you want to transfer some across. As you can see, it supports a lot. And it also, um, it also supports NFT storage as well if you need it. If you can't find your coins on the list and you're not sure if they're on here, you can just do a search up here. All right, all the coins and tokens that I use are installed. Click on apps installed and you can see which are there and which aren't. Now your apps are installed, you've got to click on add account, add Bitcoin account. If you leave your Nano sitting too long, it will ask for your pin again. Okay, so add account. Bitcoin. Continue. Open the Bitcoin app on your device. So double press and it says Bitcoin is ready. So what the first thing was doing is adding the coins to your wallet, but not actually like an account to transfer um, backwards and forwards your crypto assets. So you first have to add the coin in the wallet and then you have to be able to add the account. Bitcoin one is ready to go. Add the account. Done. Now you can see buy and sell, swap, stake. So if you've got buy and sell for instance on your Bitcoin, 
you can buy and receive crypto directly into your Ledger Live account. Now remember this Ledger Live account won't work unless your device is connected. So if you try and use this, this software when it's not connected, nothing will happen. So if you wanted to buy something, you would click on buy. You can change that to whatever currency you want. $100, you can buy X amount of Bitcoin. If you want to receive or send funds, this is how you do it. So you click onto the menu on the left and go receive, for instance. And we want to receive from, say, you might have money in a trust wallet or a MetaMask or an exchange. This is how you would do it. You click on receive, go here, continue. And there's your address to receive Bitcoin. You can show a QR code if you want, it's easier, but you can just copy the address here and then go to your trust wallet, MetaMask or exchange and send your crypto from there. Paste that address in, it'll send your crypto directly to your ledger device. And you do the same thing with send. So you click on send. You might want to send to an address. So you put in the recipient's address on the other end. So you would have gotten that from your exchange or whatever. Put it in here, go continue. Your device will ask you to verify it. You're verified on your device by pressing the two buttons. That's how it basically works. So once you've done that, you've got, then you click on your accounts. You can see all your coins in your accounts. So at the moment you have one Bitcoin account that I've just set up. You have gotta set up an account for every coin you have. And then it will show you total here showing you how much you have in Bitcoin and so on. Thanks for watching everyone. Check out the video here and I'll see you next time. Thanks.